was great. I've never been on anything like this before. And I believe I was really saved this week. I don't think before, I don't think I was really saved. I feel now that I'm actually saved. Um, I'm getting more of an idea of, of what God's want me to do. And just, uh, I want to get closer to Him. And this trip really helped out a lot. Um, and the guy that spoke of uh, the last two services that we were there, he he was, he was more real than anything. He didn't try to make you feel good, and he didn't care if you liked him or not. He was he was up there, up in front, and I think that was really cool. I hope he's here next year. This trip, I think, is more than just coming up here for a vacation. It's really about seeking God and finding out what He has in store for you and trying to get closer, have a better relationship with Him. This trip has helped me a lot realize like things that have came across me in my life that's really put me down. I've just realized it's you nothing know, but bumps in the road. I've got to let it pass by me and tell me and realize that you won't get past it without having faith and hope. This is our fifth burn ice trip. And I feel like the speaker really uh, did a great job and I think it gets better each and every year. More and more people come and God moves more and more each year. And I feel like He really moved in me more and I got rid of some stuff that I needed to get rid of. And it was just great. I feel like I'm more on fire with God. It's not all about rules, like you said. Life is, life being a Christian is like a roller coaster. I want to say that, of course, Fire Nights is great. Oh, it's always great. Um, this year, um, I got rid of some stuff that I needed to, that I needed to get rid of. And God reassured me this year what I'm supposed to do. He's calling, that He's called me to do. For my life, He reassured me. So that's a good thing. I've been out to a lot of church camps and overnight revival type things. And I've had a lot of experiences where I'll feel God and I'll experience really great times for God. But then a couple weeks later, I get into the same routine and a lot of routine that a lot of Christians go through and that's going through every day. You're a Christian, but you're bored and you're not astonished is what Michael Rod really talked about. And I wasn't astonished anymore and I really feel like this trip, I'm not going to get back in that same routine because I want God to astonish me every day. And I see now that he can because 